All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I am going to put some of this stuff in a damn locker. Because we don't need it. And I think that very well did away with uh, some of my issues. The repair station is currently idle. Okay, Ada, thank you. Right, let's see what we can do for this, if we can. Let's modify it. Uh, what does this do? 10% or 25% durability. Okay, let's do that. Well, that's a thicker blade. Mr. Ouch! Mr. Power. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's let's make it a thick boy. Look at that. That's a thick ass boy. Ooh. All right, I want to talk to the crew. You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday, be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor. I wonder sometimes. You can, but I don't want you to leave me. Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. Yeah. Uh, you've given him a nickname yet? He's not a person. He's a cleaning automatic. Of course you'd like him. I didn't know why he'd even ask. Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without them giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't stop Felix. <laughs> Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Why is that funny? He meant funny as in odd. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your oh. career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Why? You learned what he was doing. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. After school, you moved right uh, back to Edgewater? Didn't like your classes? Oh, there were a whole lot of reading. Not nearly enough doing. Like, before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. That sounds excruciating. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big ol' hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower. And stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, do you much time with him after uh, after you got back from school? Oh, I, I miss him, sure enough. But he's a fond memory. I was right beside him when he passed, holding his hand. Talking about him makes me smile. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. All right.
Up we go. Hey, shoulda get off the pot, damn it. Are you listening in there? You can't be hogging the facilities for 40 damn minutes. You are yelling. You got a condition or something. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> what are you what are you doing? I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. Right. Definitely. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Okay. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the Philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Right. Uh, a vicar searching for banned books sets a bad example, doesn't it? The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. Right, you've told me. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. and... Okay. Well, I'll see you later. There's not even a shower in here. Oh, yes it is. It's just a pipe. Oh, my God. Battery levels are fully charged. Good work, Sam. Sam, I'm disconnecting you from... Oh, uh, no. Why would I do that? Thank you. Customer, warning. Wrapped on claws carry bacteria and have the potential to cause organic death Due to massive amounts of blood loss. <laughs> Service cancellation request processing. All right, goodbye. Back to work. Can we talk? Oh, sure. Uh, hold on. Hey, Cap. How you feeling? Well, Sam's been doing my dishes for me, so that's something. It seems genuinely happy to do that? Can an auto mechanical be happy? Opal told me they could once. She believed auto mechanicals feel just like we do. She would always... Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. If it makes you happy, talk about it. I will. Alright. Ellie! Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. Just goes to show you there's always a peaceful option. Uh, it's not too late for them to go back to their old ways. Sure. And fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. Oh, okay. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. Not unless they want to. That was a very specific image. Uh, you gotta try looking for the good in people. In my experience, it spread real thin. Usually. Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Nice to know you care. Hey. Let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? Is that all you wanted to talk about? Was it just kind of poo-poo me making peace? What the fuck? Sam's just over here blasting off again. Oh, wow. 
Um, donated after helping MSI. Helping the Iconoclasts. Okay. The Borst Factory after claiming that. So I'll get well de decorated. I can't see where that came from. Alright, let's go back downstairs then. Oh, hey, Felix. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. Shake whose hand? Makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Oh, Graham? Yeah. Uh, is this about Graham? At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? That happens a lot. Uh, <laughs> don't get looking for role model. Uh, don't go looking for role models, Felix. You're just asking to be lied to. Uh, he was sorry for what he did. Graham's a piece of trash. Uh, he's dead now. It doesn't matter. That's putting it kindly, boss. Graham's worse than trash. He's a traitor. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Not unless I had to. I'm sure Graham told himself the same thing. He wasn't the one who held the gun and pulled the trigger. All he did was turn a key. The thing is, that's all it takes. Sometimes the difference between right and wrong is turning a key, or yeah. looking the other way, or keeping your mouth shut when you ought to speak up. Yeah, definitely. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. All right. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Sounds good. What do you, what do you do? Oh, he's cleaning. Oh, God, let's ask Ada about Sam. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? If we can. May Good. luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. <laughs> it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Okay. Ah, uh, let's put Sam back and grab Nioka. What the hell is she carrying? Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. How's it feel to be home, everybody? Right, so where do we need to go? Over this way. Not something I can fast travel to either. Well, I, where actually... Can I just like, come through here? We'll see. Alright. So is it just around? Like, I'm not entirely sure as to where we should be going. Let me wait. Uh, hmm. So maybe we can pass through here. Okay, probably shouldn't have gone in inside. This will work out better. Alright, we're on the right track. That's good. Here we go. And cut him down.
Here we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Hey, take a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca! Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? Oh, Mioka. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry, Nyoka. I don't... They were... That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses! Ugh! Try to leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. I'm sorry, Nyoka. You want to talk about at it? Least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. She'd still want to know, uh, just as the same as you did. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Uh, might do it? I don't think there's... There was anything about the wilderness uh, you don't know. You're guessing here any way to find out for sure? That'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. Okay, so I have to go to Scylla. I, I thought there were some here, too. Grams from pungent primals. I don't even know where to get that, but if they're on Scylla, I guess we can do that there. Because I, I could have swore there was some here as well. Uh, let's, let's check out the journal. Yeah, we both got to go to Scylla for that. All right, I guess we can go back to Groundbreaker. Uh, wait, where, okay, where is this? On the ground, okay, good. So let's actually, wait, no, why am I doing this? Fast travel, fast travel. Is this the landing pad? Yeah. Shit, I could've went straight to the ship. Can I get in there? You're some sort of freelancer? to walk in here. Did, wait. Alright, fine. Fuck it. We'll loot this place later. Let's get the hell out of here.
He just had to walk in the moment I was about to start stealing something. Dumbass guards. I think we have two things to do there, and that's it. All right, sweet. Sam, I must confess, I have not been cleaned for far too long. You're sure this will? Oh yes, that's the spot exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, I. Why, I didn't expect you to be so thorough. I am ashamed to admit. <laughs> oh, Captain, there you are. Pardon, but perhaps you could afford us some privacy, please? Um. Yeah, after I said, of course. <laughs> Holy shit. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. All right. Uh oh. It looks like your input's leaving. Uh. Oh my god. I want to see how how uh Ellie and Nyoko work together. Wow, Ada. Just wow. All right. So we gotta stop in the uh. Do we have to kill somebody in there, or...? What's the actual mission? Claim Bounty's reward, uh, reward, oh! How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided... If you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Good news, I killed McRed. I roughed him up before I did. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes' backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Uh... Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? Look, just <laughs> trying to make conversation. I'm not here for a chat. Now get moving before I see you moved. Okay. Fine. Oh my god. Ellie. A little too close. <laughs> okay. Um. Nope, journal. She's up here. Look at you too. Just enjoying yourself. Lily? That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. A hundred twenty some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. <laughs> okay. Uh, the height of ambition for all of us. You're goddamn right. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Uh... In case you were curious, no one was following me. <laughs> uh, do you always send your first timers in, into certain peril? No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Yep. Catherine sounds pleased as a pig in shit over cornering the Borst markets. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any strange looks, did they? 
What? What do you... What? Like they were hanging on to your every word. Scheming. And when you turned around, maybe they just... Point like innocent little idiots. Look <laughs> at her softly! <laughs> All right, cut the pig shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? No, I don't. What do you mean? Y you doing all right? I've got a lot on my mind, but it's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up. Assuming you're still interested in work, you're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Sounds like a major business expansion. It pays to get in on those early, you know. This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Just point me in the right direction. How did the research station become salvaged? <laughs> just, I'm sorry, I can't get over that. You just, you just look at her directly in the eye and go like, oink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds risky. Do you have a buyer lined up? Not this time. The board tolerates our business up to a point, and selling off a station full of their old gear and terminals crosses that point. But if we were to move in and commandeer the station as a sublight salvage remote office, that's a different matter. Legally gray by comparison. More okay. of a squatter situation. Right now it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. All right. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. What? You're being cryptic again. Uh, wink, nod. Worried about authorities or competitors? Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. Right. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Okay. Whatever you say. I think she's going stark raving mad, but we'll see. All she did is ask me some weird questions about pigs. We'll see what uh, what we can do with this. Okay. Nope. Let's uh, let's actually uh, do this. Felix still need an upgrade. And I get one more. And Felix, 
Oh, you you carry around big shit, don't you? Bootlicker. Um. Okay. Vicar Max. Companion ability damage. All right. And Sam. Oh yeah, you've got more than a few. Okay. Oh, that's what I meant to do. I meant to change this to, uh, where is it? There it is. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Oh, wow. All right. Ain't nothing but the void here, Captain. I just soon leave it cold, dark, and derelict. We'll see. We'll see. things get shut down here so at least we won't meet any resistance unless there's marauders but I I doubt marauders have ships never mind maybe I was very incorrect <laughs> always good to have heavy ammo in the kitchen. The gunpowder just makes things taste so much better. Repair toilet. <laughs> Captain, I've been attempting to contact you with urgent news. However, communicational functionality was impaired due to the power outage. What's going on? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084. There's no escape. Cut the transmission. I think you got the wrong gal. I think not. The refueling system at Cascadia's landing pad logged your ship ID. You've been poking your nose into restricted locations. This makes my superiors unhappy. I could peel your ship open like a can of forest. But I'm in a sporting mood. Uh, you're gonna make an enemy a sublight. What was that? You want me to hit the self destruct the big self destruct button? I didn't say that. How did you gain access to that system? Stop it at once! Welcome to hell, Commander! Did you... Did you hit it yet? What's happening in there? 
I don't know who you are, but I have nothing to gain by risking my hide against a lunatic. Commander out. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. <laughs> Damn. I ought to try talking more and fighting less. Seems like it saves on ammunition. <laughs> nah, that ain't no fun. Oh my god, that was great! <laughs> Welcome to hell! Just... Oh boy! I mean, I, I don't know how that was really a lying option, but okay. Just, just welcome to hell. I love that. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Do I need to be in here? Security routines. Ah, son of a bitch. Let's let's see if I have anything in my food that helps with hacking. Heels. Nope. 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 Well, let's try some of the pills. Oh my god. Time dilation. Oh, this is health-related stuff, isn't it? Plus one to attributes. How do I, how do I consume these things? All right, well, screw it. Whoa, keep an eye on the floor. Oh no, okay. Is there anything in here that can help me get past that? This might. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Alright, uh, let's take a look around first. Oh, hello. That's another, yep, bedroom. Oh, hello. Excellent. The 
they'll never see us. I doubt that. Really doubt it. But okay. So there we go. We're good. I get some more mag packs. Awesome. I don't wait for. Oh, dear lord. Oh my god. God? I take it this must be one? One of them's empty. Further. Hmm. Logs, Claire. It's done. Now let's go get our money before Sublight sees what a creepy dump this place is. Chartrand is that scientist, right? From Cascadia? <clears throat> okay. Well, that's all done. Can I? There we go. Gun? Yeah, I'll we'll take that. Why not? Blank UDL key card. And why not? Just in case. Back to the ship. That was horrific. All right, let's get back to Lily. Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. Yeah, that wouldn't have been fun. I did like scaring the shit out of my commander, though. Oh my god. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. That was hilarious. All right. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe I should buy some ammo while we're uh, here. Yo, what the hell is this? A grenade launcher? Uh, 
Um, what, uh, heavy ammo, light ammo is what I need. I can probably just get more from an actual vendor instead of a vending machine. So that's fine. Something. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to put the gun away. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Uh, you'll also find some auto mechanical salvage waiting, new uh, uh, awaiting new owners. The base had scientists and suspension tanks. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? UDL gunship. Ah, I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. That's right. Up until now, I've kept you in the dark for your protection. And more importantly, mine. But I'd like to think we've earned each other's trust. Perhaps. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. And what would that be? The truth about the human tailbone? I'm thinking more along the lines of the sapient species paradox. Meaning? Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Sure. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Aliens, aliens, <laughs> really say nothing. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Do you have proof? Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. Right. I'm done. I'm officially tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. <laughs> the crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? A few. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. When you say aliens, are you talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. Oh god, she's gone insane. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. I joined Sublight so I can do crimes, not save humanity. Oh my god. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Sounds like a little bit of both, actually. Uh, how do you know? No, why, why would I do that? Why would I even sell, say that? She might actually shoot me. Uh, enough. Tell me what you need done. If you don't believe me, 
go pay a visit to the puppet master who's working against her own kind. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Uh, sounds messy, I'll take, but I'll take the job. Murder isn't covered under my contract. Uh, contractor employment agreement. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. What do I get for joining up? Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want? A promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. When Sublight uh, get, when did Sublight get principled? Uh, your concern for the fate of our species is admirable. It's cute that you'd think that about me. <laughs> I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. If there were aliens, at least in this area, do you not think we would have seen them by now? They've been colonizing this area for a while. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks. How much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. All right, screw it. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Definitely. Well, we still need to figure out how to get to Byzantium, so that's uh, not really in the cards right now, but thanks, Lilia. Um, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Has she been doing any drugs? Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. Took some extra lead while I was on a job. Ellie here patching me up good. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. Okay. Well... Swell. Has anyone from HR given you the new employee talk? No, and you don't need to. I don't actually know. That answers for both questions. <laughs> Here goes. Welcome to Sublight, where salvage runs thicker than blood. Oh, dear God. We're still trying out new slogans. Got any others? Sublight. Because what's your alternative? Keep that one. <laughs> Keep... Tr uh, that one works. Glad to be part of the family. Hey, that's not a bad slogan. Thanks. Oh, dear God. Glad to have you on board. We could use the help after what happened to the last contractor. What happened to him? Uh, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, that. Uh, just stay in Miss Lilia's good side. Stealing off supplies is a good way to end up as salvage, if you know what I mean. Okay. Uh... You wouldn't want that? Actually, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Knew you were a smart gal. So I can't take a pen from work? Okay. I shipped with a Merc who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it, slept with it. 
not like that, as far as I know. Sounds like he had himself a discerning palate. Where are you going with this? He couldn't hit the broadside of an assault cruiser, hence the tin shredder. Wouldn't be the first man I met bearing compensation for his lack of skill. Okay, well, <laughs> with that, ladies and gentlemen, says of the Empire, I hope you enjoyed. And I thank you so very much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow.